Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. John and Ellie back at you today with another product review. And what I have is Zima Refreshing Citrus Beverage. This product was originally introduced in 1994. I believe it died out around 2000. Um, let's see. Okay, um, it, it officially, the brand officially died in 2008 in the United States, but never left Japan. Uh, according to Miller Coors, the brand still does extremely well there. It is 5% alcohol by volume, and it is a malt beverage with natural flavors. And uh, like I said, it is owned, it is a Miller Coors brand. It does say... On the label, questions, call Zima Beverage Company, La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's got the phone number. I've never had it. Uh, interested to try it. I bought a single today for, eh, well, it was in a pick-your-own six-pack at uh, Kroger. So, anyway, if it's terrible, I guess I haven't uh, spent too much money on it. I've heard good things about it. And I've heard really terrible things about it. It is infamous in the malt beverage world. It's very clear looking. Um, let's crack it open and see what we've got. I'm just going to drink it right out of the bottle. No need to waste a glass on this. There's some nice uh, smoke coming out the top there. Don't know if you guys can see that. All right. Clear as water. With a little bit of carbonation going on. Mmm, doesn't smell too great. Actually, I'm picking up on some grapes with this, almost like champagne. Not really picking up on too much citrus. Alright, what the heck. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into this thing. Cheers, guys. Got a weird taste to it. Hmm. 181 calories, 21.1 carbs. Well, I'm not really picking up on any of the 5% alcohol. I mean, that's that's good. Not too much going on with this, but it's it's not citrusy like I thought. I thought maybe it would taste a little bit like maybe a lemon lime soda, something like that, but not really. It's easy drinking. It is refreshing, but the flavor profile with this is hard to get a hold on. If you've ever had champagne, which is like a a malt beverage that is supposed to kind of taste like champagne, that's sort of what this tastes like. It's got a grape thing going on with it. It doesn't really have much citrus like they say right there on the label. Refreshing citrus beverage. Well... I'm not really getting the citrus. A mild grape, a little carbonation. There's really not much to it. It's a weird flavor. It's not at all what I was expecting. I'm surprised that it sells really well overseas. I don't think it's doing too well here. It'll probably be off the shelves before you know it. Um, hmm. Yeah, almost a little papery note in there as well. If you like paper and you like grapes, you might like Zima. Just a weird, 
product. Uh, I'm having a hard time thinking about what I'm going to rate this. It's not bad. It's just not at all what I thought it was going to be. It is not a citrus tasting product. It's just, it, it tastes like a malt beverage. But it doesn't taste like a citrus malt beverage. Strange, very strange. All right, one more sip. I'll give you guys a rating and wrap this up. Very st uh, strange product. It's not excellent. I wouldn't even say that it's good. It's not terrible. So it's in the C range. I'm going to go with a low C, though. It's like a 72 out of 100. C minus. Not really worth it. Not really that great. If you're buying this product, expecting some nice lemon, lime type citrusy refreshingness, <laughs> you're not going to get it. It's uh, more like a champagne malt beverage is what exactly what it tastes like to me, except it's clear. So anyway, 72 out of 100, that'll do it for this product review, guys. Hope you're having a great day. If you want to check it out, just to say that you tried a, I don't know, an interesting product, go for it. It's not bad, but I cannot recommend it. It's just really not that good. So that'll do it for this product review, guys. Hope your day is going well. Uh, let me know if you've had Zima below in the comments and what you think of it. Um, so that'll do it for this product review, guys. Uh, until next time, everybody, cheers.